the plan and show us the money. That's what the state's saying to Ultimate Concerts, a company that promised to hire thousands, then backed out. News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck is live in Shelby tonight where he spoke exclusively to the CEO of the company. I did, and one of the things that he told me is he wants to use this empty office space right here as the call center for Ultimate Concerts. And in fact, he planned to interview people for jobs today. That is until the state said, no, it needed to interview him. I want him to be real. Roni Kimball wants to be that guy on the Ultimate Concerts website promoting concerts and making money. He's been unemployed for six months. It would have been a great opportunity. This email said he was supposed to show up and hopefully get hired and trained Monday. And instead, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. So we'd come up just on the off chance. By phone, Ultimate Concerts CEO Napoleon Brewer told me the state wants to see his business plan and financing. The same thing Cleveland County wanted but didn't get. Brewer says that was due to negative publicity. As far as the state goes, Brewer says he will cooperate but wants some information kept private. He says Ultimate Concerts is on hold until all issues are resolved and his company's reputation is restored. That means Kimball's hopes are on hold too. So that's like waving a stake in front of everybody that's hungry and, you know, taken away. The state is still looking into Ultimate Concerts. It destroyed people's job applications out of concerns for their private information after Brewer held a job fair in January, then backed out. This is not a pity party. You know, the state didn't do it to him. He did it to himself. And Ultimate Concerts hope to have this place here up and running by March 1st. And Brewer tells me, no, that is not going to happen. What exactly do these guys do? Well, you pay a monthly fee and a one-time fee on top of that. You end up getting a pass for four concerts a year. Of course, as I mentioned, it will cost you some money. We're live now with the Mobile Newsroom in Shelby. Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36. Okay, Tony.